Hello, this is Rich Canleon coming to you from the CME Group trading floor. Today's segment is going to be called Bernanke Takes the Punch Bowl Away. Um, obviously, that means that the possibility of QE3 is off the menu, which means, of course, for the risk markets, what that suggests is they might have to stand on their own merits. First, let's highlight the last, most recent, if you will, economic releases. Jobless came, the jobless claims are pretty much in line. Um, some of the most recent economic releases are also in line, but not uh, breaking the point of better than survey. Uh, let's highlight what we've seen as of late with respect to the reaction uh, overseas, particularly in Europe. You saw the risk premiums coming off the table over there. Uh, in fact, if you highlight some of the markets over there, particularly the largest market, which is the German market, the German market, if I might uh, quote, uh, minus 5% since the Bernanke announcement, and the U.S. is only two, minus 2% 2 since that whole thing. So if you're thinking that part of what we saw in terms of the bigger rally was the risk premium being put on because you had the liquidity being driven by the central banks, and now the primary central bank throughout the world, if you will, has taken that off the table, perhaps what we're supposed to do is back and fill. Looking at some levels, in fact, you have projections that bring you back down to 1371.92. This is in the cash, mind you, 1378.04 in the cash as well. These are uh, old tops. Uh, the 1378 stands out uh, pretty vividly, if you will. That goes back to 229, which is the start of a big leg up. Um, when we started moving into the direction of what the premiums were for expiration. Uh, the March settle, I think, stands out in a lot of people's minds, which is 1403.20, which suggests since we have been trading under that, what you're looking at, possibly a little caution flag on a technical basis, staying somewhat negative against that. The eight-day moving average that we all keep an eye on, 1407.24 in the cash. Uh, caution flag as well. Since we're under that, we don't want to close uh, weeklies under those. So the 50-day moving average is 130703. Interestingly enough, that brings you right back to the 71, 78 area, which stands out as a technical basis. At any rate, those are your moving averages. Um, just to highlight what we're looking at with respect to non-farm payroll, which might be the driver for the rest of the uh, month of April before we get into the earnings season, uh, the uh, the look-see out there is anywhere from 200K to 240K, and based on the ADP uh, number, uh, you might be on the lower side of that. Um, Rich Canleone from the CME Group Trading Floor signing off. Thank you.